it is testing season and testing season often means this request from admin. Can you please have quiet music class? No, no we cannot. But unfortunately that often happens and so if you are looking for a quiet music class, let's talk about a couple of different things that you can do that are a bit quieter. Or if you just need a quiet day. Um, number one is going to be the song Love Somebody. This is a singing game that my older kids love. It's got 16 notes. It's a great one. Um, I love introducing it around, you know, February and then we continue it into the spring and it's great for when you need a calm day or a quiet day because even though it's fun, it's like calmer and quieter. So this song goes, love somebody, yes I do. Love somebody, yes I do. Love somebody, yes I do. Love somebody and it may be you. Well, okay, what happens is in the traditional game, the kids are supposed to like think of someone else in their head and the other kids are supposed to guess, but I didn't like that. So what we do is one kid goes up to the front, they close their eyes while we sing. While we sing, I or one of the students gives a little something to some other student. And then at the end, everyone closes their hands and then the student at the front has to guess and try to see if they can figure out who has the item. So really simple, really fun, and it will keep the kids entertained for a long time and it's pretty quiet because the only thing that's happening is the singing and you know it's not usually too super loud usually I will give it to a kid and then if the student guesses correctly then they get to choose who gets it next which is a little added incentive number two is bingo bingo is one of my favorite games it's so underrated but it's so much fun and such a great way to practice especially rhythms so cheryl lavender has a whole bunch of different bingo games i can link some down below for you that are on amazon i think they also sell them at west music um but my personal favorite is the rhythm ones because you read a rhythm and then the kids put a bingo chip or a piece of paper or whatever onto that rhythm until they get bingo it's a great way to practice reading rhythms identifying rhythms all that kind of stuff and it's fun and it's quiet and you can even do it in the teacher's classrooms most of these will work in the teacher's classrooms as well number three is write the room write the room is where you take basically questions put them around the room and kids have to find them scavenger hunt style and then put the answers on their recording sheet so i like to do this with either rhythm or melody sometimes I do it with the instruments the orchestra but for all intents and purposes let's talk let's talk rhythm and melody so with rhythm i just have the rhythms around the kids have to read the rhythm and then write the rhythm for melody then i'll put the notes on the staff and they have to write what those notes are or i'll put the notes on the wall so like if we're doing solfege i might put s for so m for me and then they have to put the notes on the staff or if we're doing treble clef same thing just put a b c you know whatever and they have to put it on the treble clef this is a good one because it takes up some time it gets the kids moving around the room it's a little more chill especially if they spent the whole day like testing um it's a little more chill for them and then also it is a bit quieter because they're not you know like playing instruments or anything like that you can get a whole bunch of different write the room activities in my tbt shop so i will leave the link down below especially there's a free spring set so you can try that out if you're like not really sure try that out you'll love it and then you'll want all of them next up is roll a measure i actually have that one right here so there's a couple of different ways that we do this but the game is my personal favorite so everyone gets a card with a certain time signature and two measures and you roll the die whatever you land on so like if i land on one then i draw a ta in my first one a quarter note and then it's the next person's turn next person's turn next person's turn until it gets back to me and then i write my next one and the winner is the person who fills up their measures without going over so if you get to like you know three beats and then you get a half note you can't put it in there because it's not going to fit if you get to seven beats and you get a half note you can't put it in there because it's not going to fit you have to wait until everybody else goes all the way around to see who is the winner so really fun really simple and then at the end i tell them to read the rhythm and then they can start over and see who wins next up is the song sailor sailor this is a really cute singing game and it goes sailor sailor on the sea sailor sailor on the sea sailor sailor on the sea what treasures have you brought for me one person walks around the room holding a set amount of treasures one two or three and then whoever they stop on has to guess how many they have in there and there's another verse and i can't remember the other two so i will link it down below where i talk a little more about it um but in verse two they sing verse two and basically it says that you have to guess then the sailor guesses or, and then the farmer guesses how many they have and so if they say one if they're right then you sing first two and then the farmer becomes the sailor if they are wrong like they say one and the person actually has three then 
you sing verse three and the whoever's the sailor gets to go around again. I will say you can do this with imaginary treasure, but I would do it with actual treasure so the kids can't lie about it because you can see. Next up is a simple one, one of my favorite classics, and that is Listen and Drop. Pick literally any song in the whole entire world. I usually go with classical music just because, you know, and have the kids listen to the song and draw what it makes them think of. I've done this with everyone from kindergarten to fifth grade. They all love it. It keeps them entertained for a while. If they get bored too easily, then you can tell them like, okay, now write a story about whatever you wrote or, you know, write about it or something like that. Super simple, pretty quiet and can keep them entertained for a while. Plus you can get them to listen to like anything if you do it that way. Next up is Color by Note. Color by Note is one of my favorite things, especially second grade. Second grade loves Color by Note. And when I discovered that, I was like, we're doing Color by Note like for the rest of my life because second grade traditionally has been hard. This year they've been wonderful, so hopefully they continue to be wonderful. But Color by Note is so great. Basically you have a coloring sheet and it has either notes in the treble clef or rhythms or melody patterns and the kids have to color them by the key so if it's got treble clef if it has an a then you color it red or whatever it is these are super fun and really easy i have a couple in my shop i have spring ones and then also ocean animal ones and a couple others but those are the two that probably would be most relevant to you right now so definitely go check those out because they are so much fun super simple and a great way to do things <gasps> also that one and the last one are good sub plans so if you need sub plans you can do that all right friends so that is a couple things that you can do to get started with quiet music lessons and i am going to give a little caveat it's always okay to read books or watch a movie it feels i don't know about you but i feel like a failure when i'm like we're gonna watch a movie but like it's really not the end of the world if the kids watch a movie especially not on a day that they're trying to be quiet Ooh. I wish my dog would be quiet. Hello, Nyla. Um, but they are, um, but it's really not a big deal. So if you have a day they need to watch a movie or read books, that's fine. I'm gonna go because she is, she's done. She's done, she's ready, ready to, I don't know, do something, play. I told her to go play, but she's still just chilling here. So I'm gonna go. I would love it if you left some quiet music lessons down below in the comments because I always need some help too. Thanks so much for watching. See you next time. Bye.